On today's episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully, we're looking at the new Topaz Photo AI update. Now, with an improved cropping feature, we're still in beta, but we're going to check it out. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. There is a new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.1.8. And now it has an improved cropping feature. My last photo AI update video, I showed you the uh, new cropping tool. We're still in beta. And I mentioned a few things that I would like to see added. And you know what? They did add those things. It's still a work in progress, but we're going to take a look at it. But before we do that, let me highlight a few things that are new to this update. They updated the subject mask model for improved wildlife and portrait masks from autopilot. Updated styling around the enhanced controls, updated crop rectangle sides to be easier to click on, updated crop rectangle drag threshold for more precise dragging, added the ability to type in aspect ratio and cropping. Very important. Added the ability to flip aspect ratio and cropping, another very important feature, and added the ability to lock and unlock custom aspect ratios, another great improvement, as well as some fixes and things like that, bug fixes. Now that we know what's new, let's go ahead and take a look at this new update version 1.1.8. Specifically, I just want to look at the new features to the cropping tool. Also, don't forget, this cropping tool was in beta, and so you want to give your feedback to Topaz and let them know what you like, you don't like, what you would like to see improved. Just come up here to help. Click on help and click on give feedback. It'll take you to Topaz's website where you can do just that. It's very important. And if you have any questions or concerns about Topaz Photo AI, you can voice them right there. Now let's take a look at the new cropping features. Let's turn our attention to the right side of the interface and under upscale. This is where you upsize your image 1x, 2x, 4x max. I think is like around 6x. And you're going to get some information like the width and the height of your image right here. Take note of this image size. It's 3200 pixels by 2133. I'll come back to that in a little bit because I found a little bug and I'll show you. But anyway, this is where you're going to do your upscaling. And this is where you're going to find your cropping tool. You're going to find it right here where it says crop. So just click on that and we'll come into the cropping interface. What you're seeing right now on the screen is the old version on the left, version 1.1.7, and the new version on the right, 1.1.8. As you can see, version 1.1.7 has very limited features. Now we can type in the aspect ratio we want. We can use this double arrow to flip that aspect ratio, which is very important. Once we get an aspect ratio, it can stay locked or unlocked, and we can customize any aspect ratio that we would like. And once we customize it, we can even lock that and then recrop. Now let's actually check out Photo AI here, the crop tool. And you'll notice this is the aspect ratio of the image, 3200 pixels by 2133. That's the actual aspect ratio. But again, bear in mind that number because I'll show you a bug coming up here shortly. But just like with the old version, we could click the drop down menu and change it to any aspect ratio we want. We can unlock the crop and then just give it a free form crop if we wanted to. We could have done that before and we can lock it up again. But this is new right now. We can go ahead here. You can type in any aspect ratio that you want here. For instance, if I wanted, say, like a more cinematic crop, you know, I could come up and click the drop down and see. I'm looking for like 16 by 9 in here. Yeah, there's a 16 by 9 I could use. But what if I wanted a 16 by 8? Okay, for a 16 by 9, I could just click that and get it. But I could also come here and type in 16 and come over to this field and type in 8. And then I'll just type my return key. And there's my 16 by 8 aspect ratio. So you can type in any aspect ratio that you want here. And then we could take this and move it around and we get our crop. Now, right now, that crop is locked. And you'll notice it says it's a custom crop. 
So it'll stay in that aspect ratio. I can reduce the crop size, but it stays in that 16 by 8 aspect ratio. And then I can go ahead and make it larger again and move it into the position that I want. Then I could come here and unlock it. And right now it's 16 by 8 aspect ratio, but I may say I don't want it quite that high. So with this unlocked, I could go ahead and pull down on the the height of the image like that. Now it's no longer 16 by 8. And you see these pixel dimensions change here. Now I do believe these pixel dimensions are the pixel dimensions of the preview and not the pixel dimensions of the actual image itself. And I'll show you why I think that in a little bit. Just to recap, now this is a new feature. We can type in aspect ratios. We can lock or unlock them and customize their sizes, whatever we want to do. Or we can, like before, click the drop down and choose an aspect ratio that they provided for us. But this is new now, too. We can flip the aspect ratio. Say, for instance, if I don't want a horizontal aspect ratio, but I want a vertical aspect ratio, I can click this button here to flip it. Click it again and flip it back. Now it changed the size here, so I'd have to resize it here. But the other thing I want to point out, there is a shortcut key for that as well, and that is X. X will flip the orientation of the crop, whether you want it horizontal or vertical. So that is a new feature. And remember also, you can reset the crop anytime you want back to the original aspect ratio by clicking reset. But I want you to notice something here, and here is the bug. Remember when I told you the original aspect ratio was 3,200 pixels by 2,133 pixels? Notice this number here, 2017.815 by 902.175. Well, that's not the original aspect ratio. That is, I believe, the aspect ratio of a preview that we're seeing here when we're in the crop tool. So I would think that would be a bug. I would think this should show us the actual pixel dimensions of the image. I just want to point out something. You notice these numbers are different now. After I reset this, I paused the video and I was doing some checking around and then I clicked the reset again and now these numbers have changed. So that was kind of weird. So there is a bug right there. And then I noticed this. See where it says custom here? If I change this to original aspect ratio, it goes back to the right pixel dimensions, 3200 by 2133. But one thing I will say, all this stuff works, but whenever you do some customization here, you can't rely on those numbers there. And you really don't need to, to be honest with you. You're really interested in your crop. And so once you go ahead and click apply crop, everything will be right. And when you get back into the main interface of Photo AI, the actual pixel dimensions will be correct. But again, that is a bug there. But let me go ahead and uh, click on this drop down. And let's say we do, in fact, want a 16 by 9 crop. And then I can move it around. Okay. And I say that looks pretty good. And maybe I don't want it quite as wide. So I'm going to drag in on the left side here a little bit and just kind of center it up and say, you know what, that is my crop right there. And now all I have to do is click apply crop. But let me just reiterate this new feature one more time. We can go ahead and type in anything we want in here. So right now it's 16 by nine. Again, let's say I want 16 by eight. So I can type in an eight and type return. And now I'm in a 16 by eight crop. And again, we can now type in aspect ratios and we can flip those aspect ratios by clicking the double arrow here. And we can also use a shortcut of X to flip the crop as well. And then let's just use that 16 by eight and click apply crop. And now you see there's my 16 by eight crop that now the width is 3133 and the height is 1566 as opposed to the original aspect ratio, which was 3,200 by 2,133. And at this point, I could go ahead and upsize or do anything I want. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Those were the new additions added to the crop tool, and I think they're pretty good. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of Photo AI. Are they going in the right direction? Are you noticing any problems or bugs? Let me know in the comments section. I'd really like to hear from you. 
Well, there it is, everyone. If you own Topaz Photo AI, I highly recommend that you get this new update. It's not perfect, but there's some good new features in it. And Topaz are constantly working on Topaz Photo AI to make it the best upsizing, denoising, sharpening, enhancing piece of software out there on the market today. And it is really good already. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.